Hi, and welcome to another And in the Game video guide for X-Plane. This time we're going to be looking at setting up X-Organizer. It's a really useful program for managing your add-on scenery and plugins, many of which you can get for free. The first thing you will need to do is go to the xplane.org website and register an account. That's forums.x-plane.org. When you've registered an account, you will then need to go to the URL highlighted up above. Uh, that's also listed down in the description of the video. That will take you to this page, and from here, you should go ahead and click download this file, which should appear if you're registered and logged in. Then I'm going to save this with my other Xplain files, so I've right-clicked and I'm going to choose save link as. So save that. Now I'm going to go ahead and open that. It's a zip file, so I'm now going to copy the contents of the zip file and paste them in the root directory of my Xplane installation. You don't have to paste it there. It will run from anywhere, but I, f I, I find that it's a convenient location, keeping all of my Xplane files in one place. Then we go inside the directory and right click on xorganizer.exe, go to properties, compatibility, and ensure that it is set to run this program as an administrator. Again, if that's grayed out like mine and your box is not ticked, choose change settings for all users. You should then be able to ch check the box. Hit OK, hit OK again. Uh, then I'm going to create a quick desktop shortcut. So I'll right click, drag, and create shortcut. And now we can go ahead and load X Organizer. The first time you load X Organizer, it will prompt you to tell it the location of your X Plane installation. So I will go ahead and do that. There's my root X Plane folder. Hit OK and now we have the basic interface for X-Organizer. Before launching X-Plane, I am going to change to settings. I will set autosave to on, so that any changes we make in X-Organizer are locked in as soon as we make them. And I will turn auto close off because it's not necessary to close X-Organizer just because you've loaded X-Plane. So load X-Plane with the options we currently have selected across the different tabs, go ahead and click Start Explain. So now we've seen how to set up X Organizer and load Explain with the options you've selected in the program. Thank you for listening and watching, and I hope this was useful to somebody.